Electronics and Telecommunication, KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous, Kollapur. Under the wireless mobile communication, um, we will take the information today about the um, mobile radio propagation. And in the mobile radio propagation, it is uh, about the radio wave propagation introduction. So, uh, in case of the wave propagation, that is the radio wave propagation, uh, free space uh, propagation is one of the uh, type uh, comes on picture, uh, comes under picture, and uh, basic propagation modules are the reflection, diffraction, and the scattering. Also, you have to take the information about the path loss and the uh, shadowing modules uh, in order to get whatever the received uh, power at the receiver and receiving antenna. We can say. Um, in the wave propagation, radio, microwave, infrared and the visible light uh, portions of the spectrum can all be used for the uh, transmitting the information by modeling, modulating the amplitude, frequency and the phase of the wave or otherwise uh, different digital modulations also uh, be used for the um, uh, transmission purpose. The amount of information a wireless channel can carry, it is related to its bandwidth and as we know means um, bandwidth is uh, nothing but the um, information signal um, is uh, propagated or we can say the uh, in how much band of frequency the information signal is there that, that is nothing but the bandwidth. So, it depends on the uh, bandwidth basically how much information is uh, getting transmitted from one place to another place. Wavelength dictates the uh, optimum size of the uh, receiving antenna as we know that means um, size of the uh, antenna is depends on the frequency and that is why um, uh, we must know that the um, as the frequency increases the size of the antenna goes on decreases. Uh, here means uh, a different band of frequencies like radio, microwave, infrared and the visible light all the portions of the light are uh, shown in this particular spectrum and uh, RAF, microwave, infrared, visible light and the ultraviolet light these all the uh, we can say the wavelengths and the frequencies are shown normally we are means uh, in case of the gsm and umts uh, these frequencies means 800 megahertz to 900 megahertz uses the uh, gsm also the 1800 to 1900 megahertz uses the gsm uh, again umts is also uses the um, uh, 18 to 1900 megahertz then 2.1 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz these are used also for the different applications of the uh, uh, UMTS. Uh, why this spectrum is important? Because um, uh, characteristics of the radio use depends on the spectrum. Okay, what are the what are the characteristics of the radio use normally? Easy to penetrate means um, if we take into consideration the different band of frequencies, it it has we can say the uh, different type of the characteristics. Uh, easy to generate. We can generate with the help of the oscillators uh, that is nothing but the whatever the radios are there can travel long distance um, in the free space they can travel long distance as we know that the in case of the satellite communication whatever the signal transmitted from the satellite we can receive these particular signals from the earth. Okay, so, uh, whatever the distance is the 36,000 kilometer and that is uh, nothing but the can travel for the long distance, can penetrate uh, buildings. So, um, if the FM is uh, there on uh, in your uh, room also and uh, if you are receiving from the mobile uh, phone, then uh, it can be received in the buildings also. So, uh, there are walls and all these things, It is so these radio waves are um, penetrate through the walls used for both uh, indoor and the outdoor communication. Uh, one can use it for the uh, outdoor communication also like the uh, satellite communication. Indoor communication like we can say the um, in case of uh, whatever the uh, Wi-Fi modules used for the internet reception um, um, uh, in, in uh, uh, home uh, services. Can be narrowly focused at high frequencies greater than 100 megahertz uh, using the parabolic antenna like the satellite dishes. Uh, means uh, it, is, it is narrowly focused we can say the uh, your DTH is connected um, on the rooftop of your uh, home and uh, it is we can say receiving very well uh, whatever the signals getting from the 
satellite subject to interference from the um, other radio uh, uh, sources uh, is also there in this particular means if the band of frequencies are different and the interference frequencies are different then uh, one can achieve that the interference will not will not be there in that particular band of frequencies from the other frequencies so these are the radio characteristics which can um, uh, which can we can say the um, uh, 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 make easy to transmit the signal from one transmitting antenna to the another uh, 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 receiving antenna we can say. Um, characteristics of the uh, uh, radio waves uh, continued properties of the radio waves are uh, frequency dependent as we know that means it is the band of frequencies comes from uh, we can say the uh, different band like the VHF, UHF um, and many more bands of, uh, are there. Why these bands are made because um, as the frequency changes the its characteristics also changes at low frequencies they can pass through the obstacles but the uh, power falls off sharply with the increase in the distance from the source um, means low frequency is nothing but the higher will be the wavelength and uh, if the wavelength is higher then there is fall of power as the distance increases that is the uh, main characteristics of the radio views at high frequencies they can they tend to travel in a straight line and uh, bounce of travel they can also be absorbed by the rain in case of the fm uh, we can say frequency modulation many more means uh, uh, around 50 kilometer signal can be traveled from the straight like the line of sight uh, communication and you are getting the signals on the uh, uh, fm so um, uh, here they have shown the line of sight and the uh, reflected radio waves. So, line of sight is the direct signal uh, which can have uh, we can say the better uh, uh, this thing performance and reflected waves having the less we can say the power content and that is why whatever the getting signal is the weak than the uh, LOS that is the line of sight signals. Channel models for the wireless communication that is um, um, uh, physical uh, models consider the exact profile of the propagation uh, environment, mode of propagation considered free space or LOS reflection and the diffraction. These are the uh, different mode of propagation we can take into consideration and accordingly the physical models will be there. Statistical models take an empirical approach that the model is developed on the measuring the propagation characteristics in variety of environment. They are easy to describe and use than the physical model. So, two models are there, one is the physical model, another is the uh, statistical model. Normally, more or less that is one can use the uh, statistical models. So, need of need for the propagation model that is propagation models can be used to determine the coverage area of the transmitter, transmitter power requirement, battery lifetime, uh, modulation and coding scheme required to improve the uh, channel quality. Uh, maximum achievable channel capacity of the system. So, these are the um, we can say the proportion model needs uh, why they are need for the any communication system. So, where we need the um, uh, power requirement of the transmitter, battery lifetime of the transmitter, coding scheme used for the transmitter and the channel capacity, uh, maximum channel capacity of that particular transmitter. So, uh, with the help of this. Um, one can uh, calculate that is with the help of the propagation model can be uh, designed with the help of this particular things only. Um, propagation models basically are the large scale uh, propagation model and the small scale uh, propagation models. In case of the large scale propagation model characteristics signal strength for the large transmitter and receiver separation several hundreds and thousands of the meters that is uh, satellite communication channels are known as the uh, large scale propagation models. Second is the compute the local average received power by averaging the signal measurement over a track of 5 to 40 kilometer. Then uh, received uh, signal decreases gradually so useful for estimating the coverage area of the transmitter. In case of the small scale uh, propagation model characterize rapid fluctuation in the receiver signal uh, strength over a very short travel distance 
a few wavelengths like uh, a mobile uh, phone is one of the example of the small scale propagation module. In case of the um, uh, 1, 2 or 3 or 4 kilometer is the range uh, from the base station to the mobile station and in case in that particular case only uh, these things happens. Also the rapid propagation in the received signal is there because mobile um, uh, we can say the um, uh, placement of the mobile is also the uh, in different way and that is why these particular fluctuations are uh, there. Uh, signal is the sum of many contributions coming from the different directions, this phase of the received signal are random and some behaves like the noise that is the release factory, uh, release uh, fadding is one of the uh, module one can use for the small scale propagation as a small scale module, uh, propagation module. Uh, received power may vary by as much as 3 or 4 orders of the magnitude that is the 30, 40, uh, 32 or the 40 dB only. So, this is about the today's um, uh, module that is uh, 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 radio propagation and uh, we will we'll stop here.